and we're back for another LCR holster video. In case you haven't seen enough holsters out there lately, here's another one you can check out. This is the Soko Kydex holster, which to me has kind of fond memories because it was the first holster that introduced me to appendix carry, and I got hooked pretty fast after that. So let's just out, outline the pros and cons of it. Pros, first, this thing is thin. So obviously, it doesn't take a genius to look at this and realize what makes it so thin. You don't have stuff covering that cylinder. In my opinion, it makes it pretty comparable to a semi-auto when holstered. That's kind of neat. Um, let's, let's compare. Let's use it. Let's compare it to the stealth gear here. So this is this is what it would look like this holster and then this is what you're looking at with the stealth gear. To some people that much makes a big difference. Next thing I like about it is the color options. And I know some of you guys don't care about the color options, but I do. This is something I have with me every day. I like it to look good. I love this chocolate brown thing they got going on. I don't see that very much. I think it looks super rugged and awesome and cool, but your mileage may vary. I dig it though, and I don't see a whole bunch of places doing that. Maybe I just like it because it matches my watch. I don't know. That's obviously on the top list of my priorities, making sure that my holster matches my watch. Let's jump ahead and look at the cons. One thing I really don't like about this holster is that you can't adjust it for height. Where it is, is where it is. In my opinion, for a minimal setup, this rides pretty high. I just want to say this is the third take I've made doing this because every angle I tried to set this thing up on was just a really awkward crotch shot, but I think I found a good one, so consider yourselves lucky. Check it out. This is Soko Kydex. I guess you might appreciate the full grip that you get from it, but that's what it is. And I can feel like a little bit under here from the edge of that holster too. So that's that. And then next, we got the stealth gear. So you can compare the two. Now, keep in mind on this one, yeah, it kind of tends to settle, settle like that throughout the day. Keep in mind, um, I changed this one to ride on a lower setting than how it came in. So that's how it is. Another thing that I don't like so much about this holster is all this stuff going on here at the bottom. If you look at it, it's kind of uh, not sharp, but it's kind of kind of thin here at the bottom. And I even took a, uh, what did I use? Yeah, I used a Dremel and I sanded this down because it was really sticking out pretty far forward. But for me, this thin area going right into my leg did not feel very good and that made it less comfortable than some of my other holsters. Vanguard 2 with a Glock 19, Filster Skeleton with a Glock 43 or 42, Stealth Gear. So for me, trying to go all minimal, trying to go all thin at the waist, all that great stuff, um, the point of that kind of got defeated by all this mass here. And just doing, doing comparison, compare it to Stealth Gear, where there's, there's not that much here at all, but the clip is here at the side. You might prefer a clip here on, on this side, and that's cool too. So in the end, I'm not a huge fan of this holster. It's not my favorite. I guess I can see the appeal to it, but it's not really the one for me. It's good to have options, and maybe this is a good option for you if you really need something thin at the waistband, or maybe you need to just buy bigger pants. If you've seen some of my other videos, maybe you remember I'm a southpaw, you'll see that I switched this to righty mode. I just did that because if I ever have a day where I can't pick between a Glock and LCR, I can just have both with me. Easy. 